is a warning. Don't take anything we say too damn serious. Don't be a snowflake. Just remember, it's just for fun. And if you take any of this personally, then personally, I suggest, I suggest you, you kiss my rear 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 rear. Hello, we're back with another episode as as the pollen blows. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, anybody got any good WTFs from over the weekend? I only made a few WTFs. I decided I literally was on the phone with Rich Archer, and I said, "I think God sent me back here just to torment all the normal people." Oh yeah. And I'm okay with it. Yeah. Like, I am really okay with it. I have realized that I am more like the Joker than I ever thought. Like, I spent all those years all about some Superman and some Superman, some Superman, some Superman. And I think I have really secretly just been transforming over to the Joker mm -hmm. because it just is just who I am. I'm yeah. just laughing. I'm just laughing. Uh, Candy says Amazon is sold out when I last looked. They're talking about the toilet, super, pepper. Uh, toilet pepper shortage. Yep. Uh, I ain't kissing nobody's ass with what? I ain't mm -hmm. kissing no ass, ass with, with a, a toilet, toilet paper, paper shortage. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all saw what I would do for some toilet paper. I'm just saying. Multiple things. <laughs> Multiple things I'll do for toilet paper. It better be like a 36 count, too. I ain't mm -hmm. cheap. <laughs> It's Good just, morning, Philip. You gotta find humor in everything. Yep. You got to nowadays. Hey, I'll give you some on. humor. I borrowed Philip Snow's mountain bike. And uh I'm over here starting to look for mountain bikes. Mm -hmm. And and uh I was trying not to be rude with Philip, but I, I I just said yesterday, I'm like, it's Sunday. It's brutally on brutally honest Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so uh one of the cracks was made. My wife says, why are you even looking for mountain bikes? I was like, huh? I like, I just trying to see if I want to find one. She goes, yeah, but I'm scared. You're going to do like you've done on other stuff. You're going to spend all this money. You're going to buy and then lose the ambition. It's just yeah. going to hang up in the garage. And I'm like, you're right. And, uh, I said, that's why I'm trying to find a deal on one. Mm -hmm. So if I want to sell it again, I can sell it again. If I get it for a decent price. Good morning, Philip Mavi. Yes. Good so morning, my Mavie. wife says, well, just keep Phillips. He ain't ever going to use it again. <laughs> you could hit that bell already. <laughs> Just saying. But I said, For quoi? I said, I know what's going to happen. And Abby knows what's going to happen. Yep. That I buy a mountain bike and I start riding. And I said this to Philip yesterday. I said, it's just like a gym membership. You never make yourself go to the gym. I mean, some people do, some people don't. Some people do it as a fad and then they burn themselves out. But like if you lived in a neighborhood and you and your neighbor walked every afternoon, it gives you somebody to talk to, you would probably yeah. be more inclined to walk. Right. Yes. So I said, what's gonna happen is if I buy a bike, Philip knows I'm gonna toss that bike in the back of the truck and go down to that damn Vernon Lake or whatever mm -hmm. the hell that is, uh, the reservoir. And then he'll probably just throw his in there and come down too, yeah. knowing that we're just going to ride just to get a heart rate up and do some exercise and not really go ballistically crazy mountain biking through the woods. Yeah. Because at my age, I would be the dude to go head first, wide ass open, hit a freaking tree. Like, yeah. watch this, hold my bear! You know? <laughs> you'd hit a rock and, and I'd hit, fly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you'd have old Peg Leg Phillip trying to hop. Oh, let me get him to a damn medical doctor. He's dying. We would both die. Yeah. We would both die. He would fall. I'd fall. You know, it just wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. So, but that was the joke. The joke was, you know, uh, but see, here's where I hurt Philip's feelings a little bit. And I, I really didn't, but it's just being sarcastic. Um, I said, here's the problem, Philip. I said, all these people on these frigging Facebook flea market sites, they've got these bikes that eight years ago, they may have paid a grand for this bike. Mm-hmm. It's not worth eight grand. No. Good morning, Richard Bradshaw. And do I pay extra for the years of dirt? <laughs> like one of these bikes was a Cannondale that probably did cost like $3,000 mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Yep. But it looks like, hold on just a second, Mr. I got to defend myself. Uh, 
I said to Philip, as he just called, I said, this one damn Cannondale, even though it may have been expensive at one time, looks like it was in a barn. And mm-hmm. when I say barn, I want you to think about it. It was leaning against that post next to the lawnmower. Right. And he pulled in every day, cranked up the lawnmower, and just blew mm-hmm. dust on it, drove out, cut the grass, pulled back in. I'm not paying you for 14 pounds and 10 years of dirt. No. All right, Snow, go. Hey, good morning. Hi. Jeffrey and good morning there, Scotty, and good morning, Holly. How are you? <laughs> good morning, uh, I'm uh, good. Under, Philip Slow, understand. how are you? He's Philip Slow. Under, understand that you like not only man on man porn, but <laughs> girl on girl too. <laughs> 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 now, Philip, would you like to inform her why you're talking so slow? So, <laughs> so a while back, I was having a talk with Abby, and I told Abby, I said, um, I made the comment that I said, uh, if you listen to Holly, I said she has a slow draw when she talks. So. At the benefit concert for Bubba, I was talking to Rich Archer, and I said the comment, made the same comment to Rich Archer. (laughs) I said, but I said, she's quick on everything. It's just slow coming out with her draw and talk. (laughs) So this whole time I said, oh, so there was somebody that said you were slow, and I can't remember who it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, who it is. It was Philip Slow. Philip Slow, (laughs) calling you slow. Was. Mm-hmm. So, I love you, Phil. So when he was sitting on my Likewise, couch telling me, I went, so you're the one. Like, I couldn't remember. You're the one. I'm like, you have got to call, and you're the one. <laughs> and then every time we say we're going to do this on the show, we both forget. So. Yeah. Welcome to the world of TBIs. Had to had to make it, had to wait till there was at least more than just you and Holly on the show. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So... Uh, uh, well, I'm going to listen. Uh, I got to jump in the shower. I got physical therapy this morning in a little bit. So have fun. Um, y'all have a good day and uh, keep up the laughs. All right. See you have later. A great have day, a good day, Philip. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. So, yeah, and Abby's going, you can't have that thing. Me, 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 me. Didn't nobody damn ask you. <laughs> He's got the bike now, Abby. No so. shit. <laughs> She'll say, I got one too. I already know where this is going. <laughs> she's going, it's, it's called extortion, uh-huh. like every good cop. <laughs> um, well, she's already told me to come pick up that bike. Yeah. But, you know, it's just, I knew good and well if I got the bike. I mean, that's the catch, though. Is, okay, so back to the story. So you got all these people wanting to sell these damn bikes. Oh, yeah. And and I'm like, so I didn't know Schwinn. Schwinn's really went down, mm-hmm. by the way. You can buy Schwinn at Walmart. Yes. Um. But the catch is they're two twenty five to two fifty, and there's a there's a lady selling them brand new, which makes you wonder how she got them to begin mm-hmm. with. But she's trying to sell them brand new uh, for one hundred fifty dollars, and I'm like, is it worth paying the seventy five more to get one with warranty? Because if it breaks, yeah, you can't take it back to her. You can take so now if you're wanting to sell it, you know. For seventy five bucks, I may be willing to take that gamble, mm-hmm. but I ain't gonna take that gamble for one hundred and fifty. Right. Um. But I'm laughing at all these people. It's got all these old ass bikes, and let me tell you what almost every one of the the posts say. Bought it, rode it two or three times. It's just been sitting there. Yep. Of course, of course, it's just been sitting there because you went out and overspent this money being cocky, mm-hmm. and then you realize, I oh, gotta actually get my fat ass up to ride it, yeah. and you didn't want to do it, and now you got this expensive bike sitting there. But why don't you just take the loss? Just take the loss and say, I'm just going to sell it just to get it out of here, because mm-hmm. it's just sitting here. Don't think you're going to make your money back off this bike. It's not going to happen. There's 14,000 friggin' mountain bikes out there. Yep. I'm looking for that one guy that says, you know what? I am smart enough to realize that this is bullshit and I just wanted it out of my garage mm-hmm. and I'm going to pass the savings on to somebody else. Right. But when I look at these people that got like 
used. Watch this. I love this. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up so everybody Abby can see. Abby said it. extortion at its finest. <laughs> she knows. The, don't don't let her fool you. She ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. She knows just what she's all I know about. She ain't stupid. I love Abby. Well, <laughs> I, I do mean, too. <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. Don't be feeding into it too much. I was just trying to be nice. So watch, I want y'all to see this just so you can see it. Um, dum, dum, dum. So like, here's the aggressive GT. That's that's a good bike, but it's 250 bucks, and I don't want to spend that because I'm a cheap ass. Um, but I want you to see the one GT. Let me just type in GT because when you see this one GT bike, you're going to be like, holy smokes. Kelly Joe, I got your message. I'm gonna address you in a minute. Yeah, she's bearing with me for a second. So there's one of these used, used. Oh, here we go. Ready? Look right there. Used two thousand dollars. Ooh. Used. That is not worth two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars used. Even brand new, that's not worth two thousand. So it makes you say, "WTF?" If it's used, here's one used eight hundred and fifty. Used eight hundred and fifty. Used nine hundred dollars. Used fifteen hundred dollars. Look yeah. at that. Used fifteen hundred dollars. Abby said, "Shut up, Scotty." <laughs> so I just laugh. Even at full price, none of and those I'm like, are worth it. You know, if if you were a guy that was already a mountain bike guy and you were like <gasps> some serious mountain biking mm -hmm. and you wanted to upgrade. Morning, Guru. Sure. Yeah. But I know. No. I mean, I remember you saw the mountain bike that I brought over. Yeah, yeah, and it's in my garage. It's just too small for me. Right. If if I was Philip size, it would fit. Right. But my size, I don't fit. But I paid. I bought two of them because mm -hmm. I bought my brother one and I bought me mm -hmm. one. I paid fifteen hundred dollars for both of them. Oh, I don't doubt it. New, but they are yeah, brand new, but mm -hmm. they are still frames. Yeah, new, new. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, they ain't worth it now. No, it, mountain bikes are like television sets, like mm -hmm. cars. When them some bitches pull off the lot, they ain't worth what you That's pay. Right. That's right. The second you buy a damn car and you drive it off the lot you might as well deduct ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars because that's what just happened yeah the second you set your ass up in there adjusted it and hit the damn county road yeah it no longer is worth that that's it right. dropped 10 grand but we actually rode those bikes i'd say two or three years because we would go camping and use the bikes and ride around the mm -hmm. camp you know i just i want stuff. one but at the same time I, i'm not gonna spend right. an arm Lord, and leg. i ain't no. been on a bike so long i don't even know if i could still well, i finally had to quit because of my knees getting getting pretty bad when i was married but, but I'm i used have to, to love start doing walking it. or something i gotta do some exercise uh jeff says i have a friend in washington state that paid over 1500 for just the frame of his bike and another yeah 250 Ooh. per mm -hmm. wheel yeah, I mean, if you're in, it, and if you're that person, if you're really into it, okay, like in the mountains and well, stuff. Well, it's like, like would that? you buy a microphone for what I would pay a microphone? No, you no. wouldn't spend for a microphone what I would spend for a no. microphone. So there is a difference. Yes. I get that. I'm laughing at these the resale. I'm, well, I'm laughing at these guys that are no different than me. Mm -hmm. They went out and bought this expensive ass bike because they wanted good, mm -hmm. which I don't disagree with. I want good too, but. You can't buy good and then expect to sell it for the same price. Right. You're not You're gonna right. do that. I agree. So there's my WTFs. Anybody? So else? I got a WTF. Saturday I made a post on Facebook about how do you connect Facebook to your smart TV? Mm -hmm. First you get a smart person. <laughs> oh well just could just you find wait. could just, you find one of those? Oh, hold <laughs> on for the punchline. Jeff Mathias said, "Watch." Oh God, dude, he has no right to even <laughs> talk in this Mathias conversation. Jeff Mathias answered, and he said, "Watch your TV isn't smart enough to figure it out." And asked you, I put Jeff Mathias, heck yeah, and I sure ain't smart, ha ha. Oh my God. And Jeff Mathias said, <laughs> "Holly Fletcher Ellison, look who you hang out with in the mornings." <laughs> And Dirk coming said, from Jeff. Dirk said, "LOL, Jeff, I was going to give the exact That's same so. smart ass reply, and thanks for taking it's the honor." It's called a smart TV, ah! not a smart ass TV. <laughs> yeah, some TVs, some TVs, 
some of the smart TVs have a mirror option, but some you have to add a fire stick to mirror. Right. Right. Yep. And that's what um, Alex that's replied later and said, if it's got a built-in Facebook app, if not, I had to figure out how to share my screen. And mm -hmm. I figured out how to get my pictures because I watched that video of you at Rhonda's birthday party mm -hmm. on my smart TV, mm -hmm. but I could, never could get my Facebook. Homer said, I'll give you one. What you giving me, Homer? <laughs> <laughs> A mountain bike? I'll take it. <laughs> uh, oh, you give it to me and I'll sell it to him. I'm wondering, I'll sell I'm wondering, it to I'm him. I'm wondering what Homer's trying to give you. <laughs> <laughs> does it involve, it might, it does it involve some trade for toilet paper? It might. I mean, I just need you to know we've gone up a little bit. We're two rolls now. <laughs> hey, good so, morning to Stephanie. Stephanie's in the house. Uh, Kelly Joe had made a comment this morning. Please share the show, you guys. Please share the show. When you was talking about um, people complaining that you was saying the people with EBT mm -hmm. was complaining, you made a comment about food stamps or EBT, and it hurt her the wrong way. Because she has to go to pantries also. Yeah, but if you're not that kind of person, then it doesn't apply to you. Right. Yep. It doesn't apply to you. If you're not standing there with your Gucci bag and swiping your EBT card, that comment don't apply to you. Right. Yep. I mean, we have, we have watched this. We've watched a woman get $600 worth of groceries. And because, and this was it, this was it, BJ's. And because... She had like three dollars more than what her EBT had. She got pissed and reached in her brand new Gucci bag with her brand new freaking fake fingernails and her brand new this and her brand new that and bitched the whole time that she had to pay three dollars. Yep. You could have just taken some of that stuff out your buggy. Right. That's what you could have done. That's the kind of people he's talking about, Kelly Joe, because he knows I get EBT. That's right, my father-in-law. Yeah. And he's not talking yeah. about me, and he's not talking about you. He's so unless, talking about them and, ones and, and, and this ain't directed at you. This is just a general statement. But unless somebody's feeling guilty about something, don't ever think I'm addressing you. Because if you're not one of the ones that's standing outside of Hibbit Sports waiting for the for the brand new Air Jordans, and then you run in there with your EBT card and get six Subway sandwiches, yep. You know, God, man, that irks the hell out of me mm -hmm. because we're paying for all that. That's all our taxes are paying for that. Your taxes, my taxes, we're all paying for those people, and that sucks. Yep. So don't let comments like that rub no. you the wrong way. He's Unless you're about guilty the of something, you shouldn't feel bad. That get it, that lie to get it. That's right. And they yeah. go in there and fill up their buggy. Like we know a dude that has his own business making mad ass money and his whole family is on friggin' Medicaid. Like get the fuck out of here. I know. Yeah, Living that's... in a four hundred thousand dollar house and you got your whole family on on Medicaid. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That is so, so not right. What you willing because to do? Because there's other people like my father-in-law who's had cancer and got two different bags, a pee bag and a poop bag, and he he barely can get what he needs, and this son of a bitch living in a $400,000 right. house on Medicaid. Yep. Right. I yep. swear to God, they need to lock up every piece of shit like that. Lock them up in jail. Mm -hmm. Them coming into the store and grabbing all the... Mm -hmm. the crab legs and stocking up on crab legs and steaks. Yeah, and it ain't stuff. nothing worse than watching somebody with EBT buy 30 pounds yes, of crab 30 legs. pounds of Alaskan snow crab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Biatch, I ain't even eating that good. Yeah. And and buy it on EBT and then go get in a brand new vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. I see it all the time. Mm -hmm. the yeah. I remember when we were working at Beers Construction, uh Beers Construction on Ella Street uh was the front of the building faced uh, Georgia Pacific's parking deck. Mm -hmm. So we would watch cars pulling in and out of the parking deck the whole time. Well, if you're facing Beers Construction to the left-hand side was an old building that Beers bought, and the food stamps were still upstairs yes. as they were removing that building, right? Yes. So we're remodeling the building, starting at the basement. Good morning, Rhonda Leaper. Starting at the basement, morning, working Rhonda. our way up. So some of, the, some of the food stamp stuff was still upstairs, so we're sitting on the steps eating sandwiches at lunch. We see this BMW because Ella Street was one way. So we saw this BMW circle twice, and they see us sitting there. 
They rolled down the window and said, hey, is this where I get my food stamps? And we just went upstairs. <laughs> we watched them park a brand-new BMW. Three of them get out, yep. big-ass gold earrings, big Gucci bags, yeah. their cell phones. Let me yeah. holler back at you. I'm going upstairs to get my food stamps. Mm -hmm. You're in a brand-new BMW with all this... Br no, no. Gucci no, bags. No, yes. that is unacceptable. So, you know what? If you disagree with me, hate me. But your taxes are paying for that shit, too. And you have mm -hmm. a right to be just as mad. Yep. All right, read that one right there. David Shepard said, Years ago, top paid cashier came to me and asked to be fired. Hold, caller. Hold, please. She just finished an EBT transaction worth $650 in receipt and showed balance of $800. She said she could make more being unemployed, shaking my head. Wow. And unfortunately, <laughs> this this is the system. It and is. people can hate me for saying it. I'm telling you, God put me back on this planet just to annoy all the people that mm -hmm. want to just hide their head in the sand and pretend it's not happening. That's right. And it's happening, Captain. Yes. Look, I'm telling you, when we saw that at BJ's, the girl's going to get mad because she went $3 over. Well, guess what, you dumb Gucci toting idiot? Nobody told you that you had 600 or something dollars on your EBT and you had to spend it all now. Right. That's right. With all your steaks and your corn dogs mm -hmm. and blah, 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 blah. Okay, caller, who do we have? Hey, this is Richard Bradshaw. What's going on, young Good man? Good morning, Richard. Good morning. And thank you, Scotty, for my shirt. Yes, sir. Thank you for my shirt. Oh, you're so welcome. We you're won't. a dedicated listener. You listen every day while yeah. while you're driving a bulldozer, pushing all of, uh, of Newton County's trash. Yep. Exactly. See, this is a very unappreciated man right here because you know why? When most of you people throw your stuff in the trash can, you never think about the poor sucker that has to push it in a bulldozer. Good and this morning, is him. Alvin. And let me tell you something, Scotty and Holly. Uh, our boss, excuse me for saying this, our boss did not let us know anything about the coronavirus. Our safety man did not let us know anything about the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And our my other boss was on vacation. He come back this morning. He was telling us all the safety issues that we need to take against the coronavirus. So everybody had a meeting with everybody this morning before we got started. Ain't that something? Mm. And yeah, it should have been one of them things talked about. Yeah, how long I should have known that, that too, at least two, two weeks to three ago. weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my WTF. God yeah. Almighty. I would be upset about that. They should have done told y'all that, even if that boss was on vacation. Those other bosses should have done that. That's right. What do you do? What do you do? I mean, at least you're smart enough to kind of do what you need to do, period. Right. And I'm getting, and they want everybody to stay like what, 10 feet away, five feet away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting out of my county work truck, headed to my track co by myself, loading two dump trucks. Heck yeah. I seen your video of Brittany cleaning the pool, <laughs> the tub. <laughs> yep. Hey, I love my daughter. Right. I love I, my kids. Can I just say, I think it's weird, though, that, that she's having to do all the manual labor and Adam was nowhere to be seen. That's just me pointing out a simple fact. That's all. That's the whole Jerry Springer show. That's just, <laughs> that's just me just pointing out a WTF that just made no sense to me. And I heard on the TV yesterday, last night, when Trump was giving a, his address to all the American people, that there was another guy come on there telling if people are hoarding the paper towels, toilet paper, they need to sell it back to the whoever that needs it. Yep. If they don't sell it back, that the government's going to come for it. Yep. That's bull crap. Well, I want everybody to realize that Charmin and Scotts is from China, and let's not support them for giving us the Chung Fu Kung Fu virus. Well, right. that's what I got right now. So, 
I like wiping my ass with Scots, but I just don't want anything to do with China anymore. I'm boycotting them. <laughs> hey, let me let y'all go. All right, brother. All right. Thanks for calling Have in. Have a good one. Have a good day. Y'all too. All right. Sorry, I hung up on them. But yeah, man, that's the, that's the kind of things you got to think about. The whole EBT thing, people all the time hear me bitch about it, and it's because the system's broke. It's because the system's broke, and they're, morning, they're allowing way too many people to, to shitty use the system mm, yeah. instead of working with the system. So, you know, it just is what it is. Yep. Anybody else got any input on that one? Please feel free to call in, share the show, share the show. Um, you know, people, again, people get frustrated because I just say it like it is, but I'm not saying nothing you ain't mumbled. I ain't saying nothing you hadn't said in front of your friends. You just ain't got the balls to say it out loud. That's right. I mean, nobody hates me for saying it. I mean, look, look, the coronavirus then drove Mike Kelly crazy. <laughs> He's getting married to Christy <laughs> Eller. Oh, shit. You need to get that man checked. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to check him. <laughs> I don't know. We might need to check him. For a 36 count, I'll check you. He'll bring you over here and put you on his couch right over here in the studio. Here, read that one real quick. I'm going to go pee. Holly Clausen says, y'all want a good WTF? One of my coworkers said he didn't know we are supposed to be wiping and sanitizing all of our baskets and carts and counters and credit card machines at night. Uh, duh, that is why we are closing at 9 p.m. right now. Duh. <laughs> Uh, tell we him he might need to keep up with the news a little more. That's right. We do it throughout the day and at night, all night. Yep. One, the other day when I went to uh, Ingles to get a few things, I took a lot of times I would just take the buggy back mm -hmm. in the store, but I got their sanitizer was sitting right there, and I yeah. sanitized it and wiped it off before I put it back in the. Oh, yeah. We're all going to invest when all this is over. We're all going to invest in uh, aloe because our hands are going to be so dry and yeah, <laughs> and cracked. And I'm going to make me some sanitizer with aloe if I can get any. You got to find some. Yeah, that's what I said, if I can get any. Yep. And then we got a story and radio stories about all them kids from Florida yeah, I Tested saw that. Tested positive morning. for coronavirus. They all need to stay down there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I believe every one of them should have been made to stay down there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. If you were dumb enough to go, you got to stay. Yep. That's and right. I don't care if your parents got to pay for the hotel or not. That's right. They weren't worried about who they spread it to. Nope. They yeah, because if I, okay, so they, everyone they interviewed said they weren't going to stop so partying. Think about this for a second. If I have AIDS and I know I have AIDS and I give it to you, I can be charged criminally for that. If you went down there and you picked up this and you came back, you should be charged criminally. I agree. For what you've done. That's right. <clears throat> it says five University of Tampa students are recovering after testing positive for COVID-19 during spring break. The university said the students were traveling together with other UT students during spring yeah, break. Yeah, UTIs. Before, mm -hmm. before testing positive. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Friggin' weirdos. So you know there's people down there from everywhere, mm -hmm. and they were all partying. Yep. So probably most of them's got it. You think? Yep. I just believe if you did that with no concerns for the general public, you, you should have you to should stay down have there. To be, yeah, yeah. Just, you should just stay. They you should all be You dumbassed it, together. you should be treated right. as a dumbass. That's right. Yep. Yep. If you dumbassed it, you therefore now get treated like a dumbass. Take I'm them out saying. in the ocean and I drop them a, off. Uh, Ooh, do you heartless bastard. <laughs> a humorous post. Shark chum much? <laughs> I seen a humorous post by somebody talking about they needed a haircut. Um, They could call their pet groomer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tara's open right now. Mm -hmm. And well, um, I think one of her customers... Because they're saying you cannot catch the COVID blah, 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 from an animal. Mm -hmm. That it is not a carrier. No. A human is. Oh. But not a pet. I know somebody was asking Tara if she made house calls. I guess they need their pet groom. Yeah, they heard Good morning, that... morning, Al. They heard that morning, I was Al. doing... Flying man, bright. They heard I was doing manscaping, so they started calling Tara because <laughs> they said that she's more qualified with those clippers. <laughs> uh, 
I think it's because she's that. really handled more junk than I've handled, but we'll just let it be about the Clippers. <laughs> just saying. I, mean, I heard rumors, too. Hey, you got Alvin Story's number? No. Oh. I was going to say we need to call him. There was something I was going to say when up. I came back from the bathroom, and uh, I don't forgot now. Y'all were on that story kick. Because uh, I was going to bring up something about this, too. Damn it, man. I hate when that happens, that forgetful something mind about what? That's the point. It's the <laughs> point. Remember. You can't remember. This is the point oh. of having short-term memory issues. Well, Karina duh. said the government now gave out a rule that we can't be only to to standing to or being standing together in or public. Being together in public. Except except okay. Families. So I cannot confirm nor deny, but allegedly, this is what I was going to lead to when I ran to the bathroom. Allegedly, uh, one of the businesses said that if you get sick working, that you can be paid for the two weeks of being out of work. Mm -hmm. So people started calling in sick. Yep. You have to be diagnosed with the coronavirus. You're not going to get paid just because you said, I don't feel good. These, these shitty people, now that they think they're going to be reimbursed for two weeks, they started, oh, no. they started calling out sick. Yep. I'm sick. You're not diagnosed. If you're not diagnosed with it, you don't get paid. So no. now your dumb ass is is out of work no. because now that you've claimed you're sick, they won't let you come back. Nope. So you dumb you ass yourself. Up. That's right. You got to stay home for two weeks. You dumb ass mm. yourself. Why? Mm -hmm. Why would anybody be that dumb? Never mind. I know. I know. I know the ones that are that dumb. Yep. But there's a lot of. <laughs> A lot of them, though. Stupid people, man. Candy says, <laughs> I have scissors and clippers. I can cut hair. Five dollar. Let's do mohawks. Yeah, five dollar. <laughs> you with some scissors would definitely be five, five dollars. Let me make you holler because you're going to cut holla. somebody. You're going <laughs> to hurt somebody with some scissors. Yeah. So yeah. listen, I almost posted this the other day, but I knew... I knew Rich Archer said, please don't post that because he said, you're going to start World War III with these idiots. But this picture right here says, what if the humans are the virus and the corona is the medicine for the earth? What if humans are the virus and corona is the medicine of the earth? Think about that one, will you? Yeah. Yeah. Rich Archer's like, please don't post that. <laughs> if you post that, you're going to... you're." Oh. He's like, you're just going to be asking for trouble again. And I'm like, I always ask for trouble. I still would have posted it. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. Tommy Morrison says the company he works for is putting the sick on short-term disability. Wow. But, but, define sick. Right. Define sick. What are they saying are the qualifications for being sick? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because that's the whole point. The second, excuse me, the second that this company was like, oh, yeah, if you're sick, you get up to two weeks pay. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. Well, guess what, dumbass? You're not getting paid. And those are the type of people that uh, they get the, uh, the union mm -hmm. to back them. Mm -hmm. But if they didn't qualify, you know. That's yeah. right. Yep. And they'll get away with it, too. Stupid people, stupid people, mm -hmm. stupid, stupid, stupid people. Yeah. So maybe this is the. Uh, I love when people send messages and I don't even know who they are. <laughs> and when they send messages uh, to, the wrong. <laughs> to, to the show number, I'll 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 get back to them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, da, 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 Candy says I'm going to put out a tip jar at my house. People coming here. To eat what what I cook and use my TP, I'm gonna start charging. <laughs> Lol. Oh yeah, it's a dollar uh -huh. a square. You better off wiping with a dollar. George Washington. Tommy <laughs> says if you call in with a cough, stay home. Yeah. yeah. But see, the problem is, is it's pollen is season. It is. It's pollen season, folks. And it's the highest it's been in years. And that's too. the problem. Like what you I literally yeah. was watching. I was literally watching. Saturday, it was eight. The wind blow yesterday. Yeah. So here, here's a video I did yesterday just to be stupid. Now watch this. Well, you always that. 
we found the thing that is making everybody cough and sneeze. It's called pollen. Now, if we could just watch some damn Sesame Street and maybe let the Cookie Monster or maybe Bert and Ernie tell those friggin' snowflakes that are going to the grocery store and they're freaking out because people are coughing and sneezing. If we could just tell those dumbasses that this has been happening since the beginning of time. Mmm, yeah. I hate to think they're standing in the grocery stores fighting over toilet paper and complaining because people are coughing, you bunch of pussies. <laughs> I mean, people are just ridiculous. I'm, I mean, I almost want to just go places and just start coughing mm -hmm. to cough. Like, I just want to do it. I just want to go. <coughs> <coughs> and then let like some phlegm come out of my mm -hmm. mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hello. Who do we have? Hey, friends. It's Tech Danielle from Politech. What's hey, going Danielle. on, Danny? It's the smart one from that other show. <laughs> What's up? Hey, first of all, Scotty, I feel like I owe you an apology. I uh -oh. jumped on you on, not in the good way, on Saturday about the whole beer thing. I'm sorry, no, friend. No, 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 no. You didn't do nothing to me. No, I, you know what I did? And I, I, I called your... in the heat of your moment, though, you because y'all were talking a lot of serious stuff. We were, and I, you know, I appreciate you, you know, your grace on that, but I am sorry. And no, I, I've been thinking about me. it all weekend and I almost, I'm like, I'm tearing up because I feel no, really bad that I no, spoke to you the no, way no, I did no. on like publicly. No, and no, I almost no, texted no. you over the weekend to apologize privately, but I feel like I owed you a public no, apology because I spoke to you disrespectfully and I'm sorry. No, no, no. You owe me nothing, And I thank baby. you, friend, I thank you for having the respect to call our show oh, yeah. um, and talk to us and explain what you were saying. Yeah. Because especially now with everybody so stressed mm -hmm. out, and I have a cold, by the way, speaking of not having the Rona, I have a cold. Yeah, right. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, I feel like people are so stressed out and I just really appreciate you calling no, and no, clarifying you don't what you were saying yeah yeah as soon as um, i typed and you said bus i looked down and said damn this phone right <laughs> you know so um, i, I, I kind of led you the wrong way unfortunately because of the damn autocorrect yeah right and, you know and then i think you had to go because you had something blowing up Dude, in your we, house we literally had a, a turtle the size of that 11 inch <laughs> ipad we had a snapping turtle walking across the front yard and i'm like wow. there's no ponds around here but it's all that rain it mm. washed oh, you know wow. so we had to take them to me and zaley and papa al took took him down to the creek so he could live you know again yeah. but go ahead I, I didn't mean to interrupt you oh, go that's ahead funny. but so right after your call matt from north carolina called because you know we were talking about the truck drivers mm -hmm. and matt called and said you know one thing that people aren't realize and sorry i just literally just finished teaching so i haven't been no, watching so I don't know what y'all are talking about or who's in the chat, but Matt called and said that one thing people aren't realizing is that warehouses, mm -hmm. normally there are hundreds of people on a shift in a warehouse, yep. Yep. but as the numbers of people that can be together are decreasing, the shifts in the warehouses are decreasing. Right. So the, you know, the, the, the loading of the trucks is not happening like mm -hmm. it normally would. So, um, you know, this is also affecting stores getting stocked and those things. That's right. Complete so, chain you know, reaction. Yeah. So, I mean, let's, you know, let's, I let's name it. Let's name it real quick, though, for people that are just tuning into the show. So we were talking about how one of my truck drive buddies had called in and said, what y'all don't realize is everybody that's in the store is bitching because they're not getting stuff. Mm -hmm. He says, but as a truck driver, he says, I got to tell you, they've shut down our rest areas. We can't go to certain fuel stations. We can't go in the fuel stations. We can't pee. We can't go into McDonald's right. because yep. it's drive through only. Our rig don't go through. Now, as we're saying, it's a chain reaction. You're in the stores bitching because you can't get toilet paper. Yep. The truck drivers can't get it to you. Matthew brings up to Danny, the warehouses can't get it into the trucks. Mm -hmm. So it's right. there's not enough employees at the warehouse. So trucks aren't getting loaded fast enough. And it's There's not enough trucks to deliver. They can't it. hardly eat because they're closing up restaurants That's and right. truck stops, right. right? And everything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so um, hey, since you're the smart one of your show, let me ask you this. So, yes. Rich Archer was bringing up to me. So, there's a restaurant in Madison that a lot of people are raising hell because the restaurant's staying open, but someone like Rich, who's who's single, who's not making it to the grocery store enough. He's had to go there to eat. So right. people are going, 
and you got to remember there's two different versions. There's always two sides of every story. Yep. So you got right. these nosy nosies saying y'all shouldn't be open. Y'all shouldn't be open. And, and the owners going, my employees need money. Mm-hmm. And right. some of these people need to eat. So right. you can keep your crying to yourself and just know that I'm trying to feed people and keep my employees working. Yep. So what's right. your impression on that as well? For one thing, um, I mean, I have a couple of thoughts on that. You know, get takeout. You know, you're still, you know, get it, though the servers aren't getting money, you're still getting money into the establishments. Right. Um, They're doing a lot the of, they, thing, they are doing a lot of takeout. But but but, right. but I will say this, when, they, when you go in to eat, if you go to sit at the bar area, they're making you sit, you know, the six feet apart thing. Right. Like they right. are, they and, are doing that in the restaurant. I should have clarified and, that. And that was going to be my other comment was, you know, I teach kids in China. Like I've been in contact with people in China every day throughout, you know, the yes, catastrophe that. that happened over there and all of this. So here are the things that I know I've been told personally are happening in China. Um, I know that in Beijing that people can leave their houses. They can go to restaurants, but exactly that. They have to sit one person apart at bars. Um, there are people limits at tables, and that's set by the restaurant. So some restaurants say three people at a table. You know, some say four. It just depends. But so they are forcing people to be spread apart so that the virus isn't spread person to person. Um, and this I know from people in China, not from the government, because right. we know the government <clears throat> is not trustworthy. Yes. You know, and I've heard those things from one from an American guy and one from a Canadian national who are working in China. Um, we are starting to see our students. I had a student today take a class in a park like she was in a park. Um, and <laughs> two weeks ago, she told me she couldn't do a project because she couldn't go outside. So they're starting to let their citizens move around. Um so, you know, the government, while I know that we don't trust their government, I am seeing different behavior in my students um, who, you know, granted are upper, they're not, you know, the sort of working class in China, they're the upper class, mm-hmm. you know, people that are rich enough to pay for these private lessons, but they're starting to move around. So things are changing over there. They have passed, you know, like they've, they're over the hump of the curve. Um but they're still forcing people to be spread apart. So, um, I mean, I think, you know, that's key. If you're going to be out and around people, um, you know, we know, I think we believe that it's spread person to person, you know, through, it's gross, but like droplets, you know what I mean? Like in your breath or yep. those kind of things. Yeah, that's um, what we were trying to say, that the whole coughing and sneezing and, you know, people don't think about the spit that comes out of your mouth. That's right. why I was yep. saying that karaoke, karaoke has got to be bad right now. Yes. Like you're picking up the microphone that somebody's just right. on. It, why would you do or that? Even when you talk, <clears throat> they can put your hand in front of your mouth when you talk, oh, yeah. which I just did. By well, the way, and laughing, laughing. Sing. Spit's going to yeah. come out of your mouth when you laugh, whether you want but to even or just not. Put your hand in front of your mouth when you talk and your hand comes away like mm-hmm. warm and moist. Yep. You know, everything that comes out of your mouth is moist. That's exchange um so you know i know that you know a lot of people's lives are disrupted right now my boyfriend is already driving me crazy like he is such i'm the homebody so to me i mean nothing's really changed i work from home every morning you know like i'm not showing as many houses but not much has changed for me he's going crazy like he is out and about every day and uh um so i mean i know that a lot of things are changing for people but i think if we do it extremely and we do it right for a little while it doesn't have to be long Mm -hmm. you know but i think we have you know people are some two of the smartest people i know alex and a viewer on our show named chris the guy that i went to high school with are literally two of the smartest people i know Mm -hmm. and they disagree with each other on alex thinks that the the measures that we're taking now are necessary. And Chris says they're not. And they go head to head. Like they're like yep. two, you know, you watch those like mountain rams slamming mm-hmm. heads together. Yep. That's what they're like debating this because they've both got data and they're both like brilliant to the point that it's hard to listen because you have no effing clue what they're talking about. And I'm sure that both of them have data and that what they're saying is data driven and they are on opposite sides of this thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, I think it's possible to have completely opposite opinions. Um, I think it's necessary that we hunker down. Um, 
you know, let this thing stop spreading to get past the exponential increase in numbers of people that have it. Um, you know, I've got this cold and yesterday, I mean, I was a little freaked out because I had like a exceptionally slight fever. Alex is like, dude, you don't have a fever. Your temperature's 99. <laughs> That's not right. a fever. That's right. But I was nervous. Like, these are scary times, mm -hmm. y'all. I mean, and I feel way better today. Like, you know, and I've been sneezing, which is not coronavirus. Um, we got an inch of snow yesterday, so it's not pollen. Mm -mm. Um I mean, I've got a cold. You I was going to say, if you, got, if you got that much snow, you could just have a simple cold. But the problem is, is everybody's on over paranoid right now. Yes. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You know, every five minutes I take a deep breath to make sure I'm not short of breath. Right. I do not have the symptoms of the coronavirus. But yesterday for like two hours, right after book group, um, Jeff, right after book club, my temperature mm -hmm. was up. I'd been in a hot room talking for an hour. Of course, well, my could, temperature was you elevated. You could tell that you, that you didn't really feel good during book club. Yeah. Right. You could see it yeah. in your face. Well, yes, and, and, and I, it's, well, it's like yesterday, right? But I knew it was supposed to get cloudy around mm -hmm. one and two ish to yeah. do some rain. So I said, you know what? I need to, I really want to go jump on the trampoline. I'd already been out there and I, and, and, and literally every time I tried to get my freaking phone out of my pocket because the wind would blow and you'd see the, the dust come out. Yes. And I wanted to go, right. Okay, everybody, that's called pollen. Right. I mean, you know, uh -huh. um, but so I'm out there cleaning the pool and I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough that I see it blowing out yeah. of the trees, but yeah. still I'm staying in there cleaning the pool. Mm -hmm. So when we go in, I'm starting to cough. I'm starting to cough right. the inside of my nostrils. I go snort water. People think I'm crazy for snorting water. Um, but it's no different than if I have a, a, a little thing of Dristan mm -hmm. or, or saline and I squirted it in my nose. So, right. but anyways, it's pollen. Mm -hmm. So, and then I thought to myself, this is, you know, why, Everybody that's at Kroger that's coughing, that's an employee, is getting treated like crap by these weirdo customers. Right. Yep. But right. it's called pollen. It just so happens it's pollen season in Georgia and the corona's happening. Mm -hmm. But everybody's on over paranoid. I'm trying to make jokes right. about it, saying, right. let's use some humor to make you be aware and mm -hmm. calm the hell down. And that's kind of right. where I was going about the beer. I was using the humor because right. I thought, okay, everybody's freaking out over beer. We can't get toilet paper because of people right. overbuying toilet paper. We can't get meat because of people overbuying meat. Kroger gets a fresh delivery every night of everything, and people come in and they look like vultures yes. on a dead rabbit on the side yeah. of the road. Within the we first are two creating hours, our own problem. Within the first right. two hours of us working, that is it. Everything is just about gone. It's just insane. Right. I mean, that's and that's why I thought it was funny when the when the pizza delivery guy said that they were going to quit selling beer. He's like, yeah, my full-time job is delivering beer. He said, but as of Monday, they're not letting us deliver beer anymore because of a hazard of our safety. And I thought, right. people are going to come unglued. I can't tell you how many people private messaged me and said, are you serious? They're going to quit serving beer? And I was like, look out of here. Really? <laughs> like, I knew by yep. making the joke that it was going to strike some nerves, but it proved right. a point. Mm -hmm. It proved a point of what people are finding to be important. Right. And Danny, I, I called in at the at the moment that Danny, because Danny has inside knowledge about China that we don't. Yes, that's right. So right. she's going, and this is why she was saying, folks, that she thought she might have offended me, which she didn't, because I understand I called in at, at the time I did. But she said, there are people dying, and people are worried about beer, and I'm like, that's my point. Mm-hmm. That was my point right there. That is right. my point. But but I'm a guy that uses humor to, to I call it the backstab. Right. I, I make you laugh, and then you go, oh, my God, I see what he just did. Mm -hmm. And that, and that's like I made the toilet paper in the bear trap yesterday, and I literally told one guy, don't fall for the trap, and he did. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is a trap. This is to make you open your eyes. And I always say, God put me here to use my way of looking at stuff to make you see things differently. Right. And it's sad that when you see the video, Danny, did you see the video? It started out, I saw it on Twitter first, uh, of the guy, and I think he was in Spain in a high-rise playing the Titanic theme song on the keyboard. And then the guy in the very next building's playing on the saxophone. And there's just hundreds of people yeah, standing on their balcony playing, yeah. watching this because they've been wow. on lockdown for so right. friggin' long. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to leave. And people are dying, man. That was in Italy. Yeah. It was in Italy. Italy. See, I wasn't sure oh, where wow. it was. Yeah, Italy is horrible. Italy is, it's horrible in Italy right now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're, 
I mean, it's awful to say, but they've had to bring in the army. Um, like in New York right now, they've um, declared a disaster. They brought in the army. Um, in Italy, they brought in the army to take out the bodies. It's mm -hmm. so bad. Right. Um, and but, there's uh, word on the street that our National Guard's already getting started. Some of my military friends have already yeah. been talking about it. And, They're yeah. getting ready. And even you know, though people don't want to talk, yes, there is a huge difference between what's happening and martial law. But a lot of people go quick to use the martial law words. Right now, in, in Newton County, your ass can't be out. They've already instilled the curfew. They've already been pulling over people driving to Kroger yes. at 3 a.m. Yes. If you don't have a letter from your company saying this is what time we got to be here, your ass is getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. Holly Clausen yeah. says our corporate office sent a paper we have to have on us at all times just in case the National Guard gets called in so we can get back and forth to work. Yeah, and she says, yeah. I just hope it don't come down to that. But see, yeah. the cops in Newton County and uh, city of yes. Athens, um, Clark County, mm -hmm. they've already they've already mandated this. So if you yes. don't have a letter to to say this is my free pass to drive, you can't you can't drive. I it think right. Newton County put theirs in Friday. Mm -hmm. I think it started. Yeah, and Friday. the boy got pulled over Saturday night, and the letters went out Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you don't have, you a, know, and a they're pass, doing that because. People are still doing things like, and I need to find the story. We'll talk about it tonight on the show. Yeah. But um, there was people got arrested in New Jersey for having a house party. Right. New Jersey's been under a, uh, um, it wasn't a mandatory quarantine, and I don't know when they went into mandatory lockdown. But I know they started last week, and people had a freaking house party. So that's Stupid. why they're having to escalate. Thank yes. You. See, because okay, people, me and you can, me and you can point this out. See. She's a homebody. I'm kind of a homebody too, right? right? And now that I got Zaylee out of school, I'm definitely not taking mm -hmm. Zaylee to anywhere. I'm not leaving anywhere to right. take my kid anywhere. No, I'm uh, the same way. I mean, Papa I Al's here. I can leave for a minute to go get gas or something. But if not, Papa Al goes and gets his cigarettes and he picks up whatever he wants mm -hmm. from me. But the point I'm trying to make is, so you have her who's kind of a hot homebody on her side of the United States. Right. I'm here in the United States. And her and I are both smart enough on different spectrums, but we're both smart enough to realize that when they make these curfews, it's not to stop people like us. Yeah. It's because those stupid asses that are out right. there right. still doing well, stupid stuff. Yep. You got people right. still looking for nail salons. Now is not the time right. to go get your nails done no. in yes. a nail salon. Yeah. Or even yeah. to or a, a hair, hairdresser. That's right. Or a haircut. Right. Or... Yep. Are yeah, those I, places still open? No, they yes. shut those down no. here a week yep. ago. There's yep, a, they there's are. A they're few shut still down. in Sutton. salons. Yes. Uh, well, see, all nail salons and hair salons are mandatory. Supposed to be shut down right now. Mm. It's like Zach from Glaze yeah, and Associates. You know, he made a big post. It says, "Look, people, can't y'all all just stay closed for moments and just let us right. get back to mm -hmm. doing our jobs? Because the longer y'all." keep doing this the longer this is going to last yeah i mean I that's exactly it i look like a shaggy dog but i'm not going to the salon right now because i have a kid i have to protect and i have to keep myself healthy so jeff h says he's fixing to head to town you're not going to get stopped because you're within the curfew it's yeah. if you're if you're during the curfew times you better have a letter that shows where you're I going i think mm -hmm. the curfew is from 9 p.m to 5 a.m something like that yeah something like that so it just is what it is folks right yeah uh, you know we need to like you right. said we need to hunker down for a little while let this thing die down and then the curfews will be lifted and we'll mm -hmm. go back to business as usual yep. mm -hmm. and we'll stop buying all our shit from China. Yep. You know, right. that's no, no, I'm, I'm no, with that's... you. And Tammy Underwood says my sister, uh, she got one. She works for a trucking company. And see, I remember back in the day doing construction. I remember, and this is in the 90s, man. I remember sitting there with my tool apron on. I remember having my, you know, doing all my stuff and we were pouring concrete. I, I did electrical work, so we were putting the the uh, the conduit under the slab. Mm -hmm. And we just kept making jokes about all the stuff from China. And I, you know, and I said back then, why can't, why can't we be who we used to That's be? Right. Uh, you know, because we were having to work on farms and fix barns and do right. electrical work for all these, these businesses. And it sucks, but we are where we said we wanted to be as Americans. We all kept saying that we needed to get all this back home. We needed it just so happens the corona crap happened, and, yep. and it's forcing right. us to get to that point. Right. And it's right. going to hurt a little what, bit. It's like yanking a Band-Aid off. What gets me is these snowflakes that want to say 
this is President Trump way of, of ruling out small business. Mm-hmm. Folks, this is worldwide. It's yes. not just right. America. That's right. Mm-hmm. This it, is Jeff other- says that Jeff says he needs to find a concussion mm-hmm. center and treatment for Cody. Did y'all see that video? Cody got his clock yes. cleaned, yes. which is yes. not funny. But medical appointments are one of the permissible reasons to leave your house. So medical appointments to go to work if you're right. a like key employee or whatever they call mm-hmm. it, um, and to go to the store. And I'm gonna say this. They're... I'm gonna say this to Jeff H. Uh, because I had somebody else reach out to me about concussions. Don't piss around and go to a neurologist. Go straight to Emory. Yes, yes. Go see the real people because I spent two different neurologists. Both of them were a joke. Both of them had different opinions. Both of them this, both of them that. And then I finally got to Emory and saw one of the head guys who's a specialist over the Southeast made a huge difference, made a huge difference. So, uh, Jeff, you just need to call me. Let's talk about concussions because there's a lot mm-hmm. I know about that. Hell, talk to Talk to Danny. She can research for you too. I just hate for you to go to just some Annie Baney. You know, I, one one of the neurologists looked at me and goes, "I just think you need to meditate." Right. And, and I went, "What?" And, and he's like, "Meditation will really help you with your anxiety issues." And I said, "Meditation's not going to help me with the memory issue." And the reason we're coming to see you is I I already had a short term memory problem. Now I'm forgetting stuff more than I used to. Right. So instead of it happening every now and then, now it's, it's happening, happening more, more now for, than then. And, and he's like, yes. I, I believe you need to meditate. Come on, dude. Let me tell you something else we're starting to see around here. I saw yesterday the Piedmont <gasps> Urgent Care on 278 mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. above um, AJ's daycare. They had a tent outside. Mm-hmm. One of those tents outside. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, everybody's starting to set up outside little trauma type units because they don't yeah. want to be inside. Well, oh, Jeff says he's having trouble finding one that's open. Yeah, I can see yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're uh, not going to find Beth, one right now. If you go back up to Beth's comment, she was trying to find somewhere for her husband to get his cancer treatment. Yeah. Good luck oh, with that. Because, and, because, and they said the only office doing it was in Atlanta. Well, and I was fixing to say is a friend of ours. They were being told that that their chemo is now being stopped. Yep. That Ugh. that the reasoning is this: any person that's on chemo Shouldn't has been getting out. Well, is at risk. Is at yes. risk. So what they're saying is, uh, uh, Joey, Joey, the voice, mm-hmm. Joey's mom was a nurse that took care of the cancer using cancer unit at Emory. Right. She then retired and volunteered. So she. Left one job and went right back to it, but as a volunteer. Right. So at her age of 70, she's been told, listen, at 70, you're at high risk. We mm-hmm. would rather you just, you're just a volunteer right yeah. now. We'd rather you not they come in. They say at 50, you're high risk. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I'm just repeating what they say. Okay. Jesus. So they're saying at 70, you're at high risk. Secondly, if you as a volunteer get something and bring it in, you could be bringing in a yeah. high risk that could kill the people. <laughs> that are on chemo that yep. are extremely at high risk. Mm-hmm. So they right. said, we're, we're reducing our numbers and even lowering employees. So of course, volunteers got cut first and some of the employees. Yep. So they're trying to keep that. Like they've even suspended some of these people that are getting chemo. Like if, if you're not, I don't know how to word it. I don't know. Maybe your cancer is not as aggressive. Your, right. your chemo is getting suspended. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Maybe yeah. that's the way to yes. word it. Yes. So it sucks. This and is see, happening for everybody. And see, that's the thing with, with my mom and dad. You know, dad's had uh, prostate cancer. He's got uh, the first signs of emphysema. So I'm having to do most of the shopping because mom right. don't want to go, no, of get course, out in of it. Of course. And dad won't go out in it. Right. So. And then this is why you see the videos of me riding the bicycle mm-hmm. with the Zaley. Yeah. Because I just have no whims to want to. I felt bad. David Manders had a wrestling thing in his house, mm-hmm. and I said I was going to go. My wife come home. Uh, she was ordering pizza. We were fixing to burn the barrel and, and burn a little bit of stuff. And I looked at my wife, and and my I felt bad. My wife's like, I've been at work all day. I ordered pizza, and I didn't have the heart to go. Well, I'm leaving to go see wrestling. <laughs> right. Right. Because honestly, my wife leaving, I figure it like this. Say my wife had a job anywhere other than where she's at. Mm-hmm. 
if I was traveling and doing outside exposure and she was traveling doing outside exposure, that would make her, me a 50% chance and her a 50% chance. Yep. Well, my wife works in a damn grocery store. My wife is about a 95% chance yes. of catching something. Right. So there's no reason for me to leave. That's Let me right. just stay home and gamble my gamble my life with her mm. gambling morning, her James life. Yep. So that's why I haven't left my house. So there you have it, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's we're all at gamble right now. Yeah. Right. Well, Danny, I know I know we're going to go to a commercial in just a second and don't feel that you owe me nothing. I mean, look, there's a lot going on in this world right now. There's there is. Lot. Well, thank you, friend. Thank no, you no, so much. No, no, no. I know. Look, I know better. I know better. Okay, Listen, you know what good. I know. We I know, love you, Danny. I know if Danny was Thank ever going to cuss yes, me, he'd be over the phone and not in front of people. I know <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. I would. Yes. And I would expect the same of you. If I said That's something right. that you disagreed right. with, we would. Yes. We here's would take I, each other on in private. And here's yes. what I really know. Instead of cussing me, I know what she would do. <laughs> you know exactly what I would do. Yep. It'd be it'd be worse than cussing me. She'd type me a long email with a lot of big letters, and she'd leave it. Like, I would take explain this to you why I disagree. <laughs> Take yeah. this, you dyslexic <laughs> asshole. And yeah. she knows it'd take me six hey. hours to look up those words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'd be like a long reading assignment. That's right. <laughs> that'd, be the, that'd be the biggest F you ever. I would open that up and go, oh, no, she didn't. And Crystal would yeah, go, what? I'm going to be cry. like, she just sent me a seven paragraph. She just told me to F myself. Here, read this for me. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Hey, I love you guys. We love you too. Right. Have love a good day. Have I'll a see you day. tonight. Bye. Bye. Right, bye. Thanks, y'all, too. Right. Bye. Right. Please stand up. We're going to have a Frick and frack. Frick, frack's back. <laughs> Frick, frack, and crack? Is that, is that where we're at? Frick and frack in the morning. Uh, so. Good morning, Tessa. Is that psychiatrist? Yes. What is that? Psychiatrist, psychiatrist is helping for me to deal with the stress from having seizures. Mm. Are you taking it? I think she button? was say, saying, she made a post earlier. I think she can't get in. I right, read Beth's. Beth said, Northside has offices all over Georgia. Uh-oh, it moved. Please share the show, you guys, by the way, as I scroll back up. Northside has offices all over Georgia. Ha husband has sarcoma, kindly, and liver cancer. Mm. There's a office in Conyers across from the hospital. I say send his treatment to this office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it moved because we got old, old Tanner. Old Tanner, Tanner is tuned Good in. Good morning, Tanner. Did y'all see that video I did the other day? And I, I showed my bedroom and uh, I even was like, and look, there sits some clothes that I've only wore once and oh, I'm probably yeah. going to wear them again, <laughs> Tina. Because Tina. Tina always messes with me about wearing your clothes. Wearing my clothes. He's wore the same thing three days in a damn row. <laughs> it is what it is. It's, yeah. it's funny, man. Uh, and your baby bladder. <laughs> Why y'all get so upset about it's my bladder? I can do what I want with it. Well, it's still a baby bladder. I think, and this is just my opinion. You have to pee more I, than a woman. I think that I wish I could pee that much. I think because of my head injury, like when I woke up from the head injury, um I had I, I didn't I couldn't tell you when I'd eaten last. Like I never felt hungry. And I think that part of my frontal lobe damage, mm -hmm. not only does it screw up me not feeling hungry or not feeling full, because right. I went from not feeling hungry at all, where people would have to go, look, you've not eaten today. You need to eat. Right. And I was like, oh, because I never felt hungry. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, it became the complete opposite. Like, And this still, to, to this day, I can sit and eat. I like many weeks, I could Constantly. sit or potato chips, and I could just keep eating. And I don't, my, my stomach never sends a signal to my brain to say full. Mm -hmm. But I can feel my stomach is full because my skin and my muscles stretch, right. and that's how I know I'm full because mm -hmm. I'll hurt. You want some spicy deal chips? Hell to the no. <laughs> so that's kind of the same problem with the pee. I think that when I feel like I'm, I need to pee, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I have to pee. That's me. So I don't think it's a... I don't when think I it, feel like I have to pee, I have to go right. Right, there. and that's my issue. And sometimes I go pee, and I ain't even but a drop, 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 pee, pee, well, see, and I'm my, done. My but I felt like I had right. to pee. 
Well, my issue is I've had so many kidney stones oh, in see. the last 10 or 15 Military years. I was like, so. you need to get your prostate checked. I'm like, quit offering. <laughs> That's the problem. He's uh, he's always, you know, he looks like the guy from Cannonball Run. He's like, mm -hmm. think you need to get your prostate checked. Get your <laughs> finger out from under my nose. <laughs> you my ass. But yeah, within mm, the that last. That smells like raspberry. Within the last 15 to 20 <laughs> I years. I love you, Karina. Within the at least the last 15 Thank years, you, I've bacon. passed eight kidney stones oh see not Ooh. me i drank way too much water for that and i still have at least two one in each kidney and that's another thing uh that that due to my brain injury uh danny's the one that helped me research it because she was talking about damn he sure does have a lot of heat strokes because mm -hmm. they're in the summer yes so she started researching and and her her significant other does work with brain injuries mm -hmm. and so she, between what she researched and what she talked to him about that she said that people with traumatic brain injuries get dehydrated faster than other people and right. always feel thirsty. Mm -hmm. Mike's in. Mike's in. Three fingers. Oh, Three no. Fingers. No, 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 no. So, but yeah. Not one, but three. I don't need that shit in 3D. I can see your hand over there. You keep it to yourself. That one has a ring on it, too. Mil Military Mike's thinking about you. Military Mike thinks about me every day. You ought to see that big old ring that he's got on. It's a cock ring. I don't know why he wears it on his fingers, though. It's weird. It's like really weird why he keeps a cock ring on his three fingers. Christy Eller said kidney stones suck. Yes, they do. I, why do y'all not but drink can, enough water? I don't know nothing about kidney stones. What, I drank so much water, though. What my urologist told me was it's not what you're drinking because I drink constantly throughout the day. It may not be water, but I'm drinking. Okay, that was my question, okay. though. I drink water. I never right. have problems. What he told me was my body doesn't expel what needs to be expelled. What the heck? Expel what? What is it? Just, you know. Fluid. Yeah, the fluid that. You know, if kidney stones are like crystal, the, uh, then what's the crystal? I am asking because inquiring minds got to know. It is. Um, That's my line. Don't steal it. <laughs> That's I'm just my saying. Line. <laughs> It is uh, uric acid and stuff like that. Your body has to get rid of all of that, like the salt and, and everything. Okay. So if well, you, my so, body doesn't do that. Well, so military it, Mike, after three fingers, I would expect you to have internet issues. <laughs> 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 okay. Let's just see what a kidney stone actually is. It's a, a calcium. Kidney stone symptom and causes... I don't want to know what causes it. Well, I mean, Canadian I do. Canadian bacon calcium, said, oxitate, and uric acid. but I want to her know what it is. Her kidney stone when she was pregnant was calcium. That's weird. It's made up of uh, calcium, uh, uric acid. Sherry says her first kidney stone was from shitty water <laughs> that they had overseas and not being purified. Right. But with all the kidney stones that I've had, I think I can pretty much. This just in, by the way, there's been a very bad motorcycle wreck on 278 at Hazel Brand Road involving two motorcycles. One is red, the other one white trapped under the car. P Ooh. Please pray. Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh. Jesus. Well, let's just say that didn't help me ride a motorcycle. Because <laughs> I said to my wife, I said, she said, are you for sure going to trade the bikes for a Jeep or something. Right. And I went, yeah, I think so. I said, cause you won't let me ride anymore anyways. And she, she goes, I, it's not that I won't let you ride. If you feel comfortable to ride, you can go ride. Mm -hmm. And, and I just went, ah, you know, like, because I am nervous based right. on, on things that involve me, right? you know? So, anyways, I know we just had a change of conversation there for a second. But okay, so look, here's the overview on kidney stones. Kidney stones, renal lithiasis, nephrolithiasis, are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys. Quit eating salt. Kidney stones have many causes and can affect any part of your urinary tract, from your kidneys to your bladder. Often, stones form when the urine becomes concentrated allowing minerals to crystallize and stick together. Passing kidney stones can be quite painful, but the stones usually cause no permanent damage if they're recognized in a timely fashion. Depending on your situation, 
you may need nothing more than to take pain medication and drink lots of water to pass a kidney stone. In other instances, for example, if stones become lodged in the urinary tract, are associated with a urinary infection or cause complications, surgery may be needed. Your doctor may recommend preventive treatment to reduce your risk of recurrent kidney stones if you're at increased risk of developing them again. Um, I'm, I'm sticking to the, I'm drinking plenty of water. Yep. I don't know enough about it, but I'm sticking to that. Yep. I'm sticking to, I'm going to drink plenty of water and I'm, I'm going to be better. And you said, stay away from salt. I just when said, I, I, I if, if that's what they're saying right. that it is, right. it's salt, then yeah. stay the hell away from salt. But it's not the, the salt that you think. I don't care what salt it is. I'd stay away from salt. Because I had the same question with my urologist. Salt is because salt. Because I love salt. Salt is but salt. He, How yes, is it different? It's the different form. Explain. It's the sodium. You got to remember on the show, too. Right. So I'm trying I know. To I'm just saying explain. it's the sodium in your system. When I go and get checked, my sodium level is perfect. But isn't your sodium because of intake? Yes. That's what they say. So then cut but, sodium but, <laughs> No, I know, but it's not only just eating salt. It's foods that you eat that have, that have salt, salt in, in it. But it's the natural salt. That, that's that in is, the food. So, right. the, so okay. I don't want to ever get into DUI. So do you know how I keep from that happening? Don't drink and drive. I, I decrease my odds by not drinking and driving. Right. So if you have a salt problem, decrease your salt. And I have. And you know what happened? No my salt. Tell me, my sodium intake went down below. Of course, no, 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 below of where it should have been. My potassium went down below where it should have been. So you can get pills for potassium. I Eat bananas. That. I do that, and it stayed low. So they told me just to do what I would regularly do, and to tough out the kidney regular, stones. And, and, well, I here lately, within the last how much water years, do you drink? Very little. Well, I, hit that damn bell. But I don't I have, have a dumbass no, award. But I have not had a problem in eight I drink years. probably eight of these a day right. of water. I can't every drink time, water. Every time it gets, gets you some Mio. I can't do Mio. I put Karina two or three drops says, of Mio. energy drinks cause kidney stones. And I have stopped drinking energy and drinks. And I'm really insinuating this I'm really bad. No. I'm really oh. insinuating it really bad because Dondra just got finished passing kidney stones. So I'm trying to make everybody mm -hmm. listen. Good morning, yeah. Shannon Listen, Thomas. Linda. Well, that's one reason why I brought it up. Yeah, no, and that's why I'm that's why I'm playing yeah. it to make it go further but, because but, so many people. But like I said, my doctor told me it's not how much you drink or what you drink; it's because your body is not expelling what needs to be out. Morning, Brittany King. I'll still argue that though. If you if you cut your intake, I mean, it's no different than if you're a diabetic. You cut your intake; it's mm -hmm. got to help. I mean, it's got to. It, yeah. I mean, but see, I cut my intake and it actually dropped my levels to where it was below. So, so then your problem be. is you ain't drinking enough water. Well, it's not the water. I mean, it's just not my body doesn't. Yeah, but your water is what's filtering your kidneys. Yeah. So you so have to saying, drink water. So what he was saying was there was something wrong with my kidneys that wasn't filtering right. Yeah, I know what's wrong with it. You ain't drinking <laughs> enough damn water. You just said it yourself. You ain't drinking enough water. I cannot water. drink water. I can't put anything in water to make it taste good enough for me to drink. I so want to make some. I want to make some <laughs> nasty ass jokes because I'm sure you've put some nastier <laughs> shit than water in your nope. mouth. I drink Mountain Dew. Put a put. Okay, Coke. then why don't you put a, put a Mountain splash Dew of Mountain Dew in a bull, it? A good corporate of causing kidney stones. Yes, take take your water and put a splash of Mountain so Dew in it. Maybe catch a Mountain Dew. How about this? Oh, I have. I Force have. yourself to start drinking nothing but water, and eventually it will taste okay with Mio in it. That's what I had to do. I gave up all the sodas. I will put one half an ounce right if if a shot glass is an ounce mm -hmm. i put in half an ounce of sprite and mio in every one of these except for right now we have no sprites it's just mio yeah. um but eventually your taste buds will get used to it but i'll tell you half of your effing problem is you smoke mm -hmm. when you quit smoking everything will start tasting different i mean right now salsa tastes so much better since i don't flood my taste buds with candies and cookies and right. sugars uh, that's why that egg up there at Buckeyes is to die <laughs> for that egg burger. Oh. Well, I can say. Mm -hmm. I, I have. So there's plenty of culprits here, <laughs> Jeffrey, not just the sodium. Right.
See, folks, we just try to use our lives to, one, give you something to laugh That's at, right. and also to understand that we suffer from the same yes, stuff you do. do. I suffer from dumbitis. And, no and, to, bring to, bring right. and to bring awareness. To bring awareness. Well, Christy, Christy says, I tell Mike to quit drinking them energy drinks. Look, tell Mike to call me about what my blood pressure did over the weekend. Mm -hmm. He'll never drink another energy drink ever. Brittany Kane, the pool cleaners. In, uh, my pool needs to be cleaned, by the way, if you'll come up here and clean my pool. <laughs> um... Uh, she wanted me to cut her grass. She got a <laughs> landscape husband, and then she's in the pool on not a very warm day cleaning the pool. Uh, and Adam that. was nowhere to be Sherry. seen. Sherry says there is a company that tests for food sensitivities. Oh, my Jesus. That. There we Well, how far back was it? Hell. There we go. There we go. That causes your Food medical problems. That causes your medical problems. I am doing my test when I go back to Colorado. Just saying, if you have chronic medical issues, you need to think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat bananas and and can't take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> bananas get rid of, of, see, I need something that gives me the craps. I need like diarrhea pills. The crabs or crabs? Craps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I did as much as I hate this. I go back to drink Mountain Dews and energy drink. I hate water too, but Scotty's right. You have to drink water. Yep. Damn, hit that son of a bitch right there. <laughs> I was right. I tell y'all every damn day. I tell you every day I'm right. And y'all want to argue with me. I wasn't arguing. No, them. Oh, <laughs> Guilty much? Because I didn't say you. Um, Holly, dang it. I, I hit the back button on my phone. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I've seen a post from my cousin who was killed in a car accident. Ooh. Uh, Sorry to hear that. Blue monsters have water in them. They're still not good for you, Mike. Yeah, no. Mike going to die of a heart attack. You can't that must, I, have, been, I had to that stop. must have been Mike. Yes, I had yes. to stop drinking monsters. I'm lucky he only brings in one. Remember when he used to drink three, three in one show? And the big cans. Well, that's it right there. No, there's a bigger can oh, than Jesus. that. Oh, Jesus. With the screw top. Uh, carrot soup. What the hell's carrot soup? What's breath? I explain, explain, explain. Christy says protein poop. Explain, <laughs> explain, explain. Um, oh, the sweet teas. I cannot drink pre made sweet teas. I cannot drink it. I have to make my own tea for me. Use a damn needy bitch. <laughs> I say, get, get done smoking and things will be better. So, Leaper called. Or Leaper will call back. Yep. Or that was a butt doll. Uh, Beth said, eat carrot soup. And what will that do, Beth? Yeah. Is that a Yankee thing? I don't know. I've never Yeah, heard. fiber makes you poop. I Christy need, I need said, as much sorry, fiber. fiber. Yes, I need fiber, fiber. I eat four fiber pills a day and try to eat fiber uh, cereal just to drop some off at the pool. <laughs> Well, maybe you should eat more carrots. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. If carrot soup does I it, know. but carrots suck. Thank I mean, you. you know. I've never liked I, carrots. I, I like carrots in my stew and carrots in ranch dressing, maybe, but carrots by themselves? Mm, the what's only up, Doc? Way, Ain't happening. The only way I like carrots is if they're cut in the small pieces. I like with them honey. cooked. I like Live. Them Who do we honey. have? Wake and bake. <laughs> what's going on? It's me, Beth. What's going, What's going on? on? So explain to me well, the carrot soup. Yeah. Make some homemade carrot soup. That'll make you go. No doubt. Anything in yeah. particular to put in it? <laughs> no, just look up online the homemade recipe, ginger okay. and carrots and stuff. Okay. I'll That'll do make that. You go. Eat some corn. <laughs> Dude, I do, and it just doesn't do nothing. I, I oh. laugh. I laugh all the time ever since my head injury. Uh, and, and, you know, it was either the head injury because I knew that messed up my stomach. But then, like, I've had back surgery and uh, my whole right leg all has nerve damage in it. And I say, I've said ever since the back surgery, it made the poo stop, you know. Well, yeah. if you're taking pain medicine, that's going to bind you up. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too, is taking ibuprofens and and melanomas and all that stuff to go to sleep. Oh, yeah, that that makes that dries everything up. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, I guess when you start getting older, you run into those kind of problems. Look, Military mm -hmm. Mike was sitting here the other day, and something got said, and we've got these two doors that open up on the island, and I pull out this uh, 
It's probably 24 inches long by, I don't know, 18 inches wide, oh, Tupperware tote. <laughs> and and uh, it's got all our pills in it. It's got everything in it. And I pull it out and I go, here you go, sir. Your Welcome to are- middle <laughs> age. Because <laughs> yeah. it's got everything. Band-Aids, Neosporin, fiber pills, diarrhea pills. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, welcome to middle age. <laughs> Karina said she'd get you some diabetic gummy bears. They'd make you have the shitters. Oh, yeah, I'll take get some. You, get you some prunes. When people used to call the show and go, I can't come in. I got the squirts. I'm like, come here and breathe in my face. <laughs> <laughs> like I would pay good money for the squirts. <laughs> Go get you some prunes and oh my god, dude! I have. I, listen, one time I ain't lying. One time it w- it had been like two weeks, and I didn't even know. This was like right after back surgery. I didn't even know it'd been two weeks. I literally went home. My ribs were hurting. Mm-hmm. My skin was stretching, hurt like a pregnant woman. And I went through uh, half a bottle of that menstrual miracle, uh, the, whatever oil. Yeah, 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 the crap that our parents used uh, to tell us to drink. I drank half a bottle of prune juice. I drank two gallons of friggin' apple oh cider. My God. I would not want to be in your house with uh, the gas juice that are coming no, out of your ass. <laughs> nothing came out. Like people kept saying, my roommates at the time kept going, when you explode, I do not mm-hmm. want to be here. And it never happened. It never happened. Get you some, no, some of that don't work. Some of it don't work. Yeah. Yeah. Figs. Yeah, okay. I have to try some figs. Yeah. I ain't I, I seen that fig come off a tree one day. I'm not ever eating that. Oh, I love fresh. I figs. watched an old country lady at a house I was remodeling once walk over to the fig tree. I didn't know what the tree was. She goes, You don't eat figs. She went over to I said, That looks like the balls on my great dane. I can't. <laughs> I can't. And I watched her split it and run her tongue uh-huh. in it. And I was going, I'm just picturing my great dane's nuts. I can't do that. That's gross. I'll eat a <laughs> I'll eat a fig Newton like cookie, but I ain't sticking my tongue up in no fig. It looks well, like that's dogs. After it's been there is Jimmy though. James towing <laughs> AJ's big hey. human brother. Yep. Hey, um, I just want to let you know that Scotty, um, that that mohawk that you have, you there? Yes, ma'am. Um, that mohawk that you have looks like a female's landing strip. Oh, I know. <laughs> somebody the other day when I said somebody, do you know how hard it is to shave your head like this by itself? And Manders goes, well, you missed a big chunk right in the middle. Well, <laughs> you know, women go to get wax like that to mm-hmm. have that landing strip. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And they uh, probably they probably use that gorilla snot that you use on your hair oh, to make yeah. it stand up, too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm picturing some crazy videos now. Thanks for the inspiration. My sister, you know, she lives in California, so she won't be listening to this or anything. Mm-hmm. She did that. Oh my and god! Says, Why did you have to let me know this? Yeah, yeah. I don't need to know that information. Oh but my then god! She said that she had it completely surgically removed, all down there and everything, and she had. Why even go through that? Yeah. Yeah, because I know they said back in the 90s and early 2000s, all these guys were paying all this money to have all the lasered hair stuff off their chest. And now these dumbass snowflakes are paying money to get people to Mm -hmm. inject hair follicles into their chest so they can grow hair. And I'm like, oh, my Jesus, (laughs) you pussy kids, man. What's wrong with y'all? Yep. Well, what I was getting to say is that she won because she goes to work out all the time. So she's got a deodorant and she used it. She was telling me she used it one down there. And the kids couldn't one find their deodorant. So one of them used it out of her sport bag. And then she told them that what it was for. And they got like oh yeah, real mad and sick and stomach turning and everything. Oh, my God. That'd like, be funny. I, I, I was laughing. I was, oh, my God. I would love but to I, have that video walking uh, in and go, "Hey, you're using my deodorant." Well, it's okay. It's it's just you're my mom. Well, that's my that's my hoochie deodorant. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's my hoochie deodorant. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. I'd love to have been there for that conversation. <laughs> Look, let me let me give you let me give you this because you're a Yankee. You're gonna get a kick out of this. So, okay. we had a family reunion. Well. Yeah. My family grew up in the mountains. They originally were from Dahlonega, mm-hmm. and it was actually called Walker Mountain. They were all walkers. So we did the Walker family reunion. Well, one of my uncles went to New Jersey, so he's he's got the full accent. His wife's from New Jersey, got the full accent. So they're sitting at Pine Log Park on this bench, and it's 
one of my younger aunts with two of my great aunts. Mm -hmm. So there was the 40 year old aunt, and this is when I was 20. So this is the 40 year old aunt sitting with the two 70 year old aunts. And mm -hmm. one of them was from Jersey. Right. And I walked up at the time, I walked up to the 40 year old aunt going, Oh yeah, I use just for men's. And I went, yeah, me too. I use it right here. Cause I don't like the red in my goatee. And she goes, yeah, well, that's not where I'm using it. And the other two gray hair ones are going, Oh yeah, we've been using it too. And I went, what the hell did I walk up on? <laughs> <laughs> so they're using just for men to dye the coochie hair. So because the 40 year old was single and she says, Oh, there ain't nothing worse when a 20 year old goes down and finds gray hair there. And I'm like, Oh my God. Why did I walk up? <laughs> Maybe that's why my sister had hers removed. See? Mm -hmm. So I just Maybe figured I'd because I want you to just picture the the girl from Jersey saying can, that. Can, oh my I god! I can picture it. I, I can, can picture walking in on a conversation that you weren't there for the whole That's thing. Right. You're like, what? What did I just? Oh yeah. Happen here? I use that too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was crazy. It Scotty's was crazy. Scotty's aunts was a bunch of cougars. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, one of them was just as crazy as me, or I'm now just as crazy as her. How are you going to that? <laughs> All right, Chick. Well, thanks for calling in. We're going to be wrapping All this right, puppy up. I'll talk to you later. I got to get back on the phone with some doctors. All right. Here. Thanks for listening yeah, in with us. Have in. a good All one. Right, All right. Bye. 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 So yeah, man, everybody, morning, so everybody will go backwards real quick. Cause everybody was putting in their cabbage and something, something, something. Dondra mm -hmm. says cooked, cooked, cooked cabbage, cabbage will work too. Try, try that. Got some of that upstairs right now. We just had that for dinner. The get other you night. a big thing of Metamucil. Put it in your water. I, I tried that. Uh, T Tina was trying to tell me about her and Bill and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And I tried it, but that just doesn't, it doesn't work either. Mm. Uh, Jimmy James Towing said, not a lot of towing going on. He says, hooking, struggling nowadays. <laughs> um, struggling hooker. And you know, and with, with, think about it. It's a, such a huge chain reaction. Uh, a lot of people, you have to remember, a lot of people that are not on the road. So therefore, his job is being affected too. Yep. Heck yeah. And then guess what? As a sponsor, that affects me. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have to remember these things, uh, yeah. which means me, you will end up having a conversation and it's tough. Today's on the 23rd. So we'll be having a conversation soon. I'm yeah. sure. I've been giving away things and donut King donuts for toilet paper. God. So you're training in one circle for another circle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's is that right. is, is that what you just said? Or bigger? You it's just traded smaller. one circle. Hey, you don't be asking her that stuff, Jeffrey. One, one oh, you talking about donuts? Hole another hole. You talking about donuts, right? You got to be talking about donuts because if you're asking her if her hole is that, are you asking for the inside dimensions or outside dimensions, Jeffrey? You, are you asking for inside or outside? Because I'm holding up some toilet paper. You might want to keep that conversation to yourself. You can ask her after hours. <laughs> Jeffrey gonna be like you trade for Car Kroger cash <laughs> just saying oh my lord so I hope everybody has a good day keep yes. laughing keep laughing keep laughing man keep laughing that's right keep chin up we all gonna get through this we all in it together worldwide mm -hmm. we're all yep. in this uh Je Troy goes what the hell did I step in you know? on <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly look we're just trying to keep everybody laughing man uh, the world needs new laughter, more yes, laughter. I mean, you know, my wife's off work today. There's no telling what she's going to video today. Mm. So last Ooh. night we sell it. We now 100% this, this being locked down has caused us to do beer 30. So, you know, her, my father-in-law, they go out for their little one shot, you know, their fireball. I go out with my Corona. We sit on the porch. We laugh. We talk. So Crystal's like, well, I'm off tomorrow. And I went, uh-huh. She goes, so I'm going to get out here and I'm going to trim these trees and I'm on this and I'm on that. And I said, mm, mm -hmm. you're probably not. It's going to be raining tomorrow. She's like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. She pulls out her phone app. And she goes, you weren't lying. I went, what the hell? Did you think I was just lying to you? For the... it's no, it's supposed to be, to be raining. Yeah, it's Actually, supposed right. it's supposed to be raining good when we get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, let me, let me open the camera. Thank you, Troy. We appreciate you listening in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please share, please share, please share. Yes. You know, we just, the world's got enough crying right Don now. Don just said, damn it, you didn't get to talk about Rockdale because we never seen Alex. Too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised. Well, let me just say it. this. Rockdale, Rockdale, Rockdale. Rockdale. Oh, it is raining. 
I, yep. I, it's not pouring now, raining, but it's still good. Oh, I've right. seen yeah. some hot conversations about Rockdale. Mm. When so they're trying to figure out who runs that website, and I know who runs that website. You know, that's the thing I love about me is people will call and rat out anybody at any moment. Yeah, I know more than I ever want to know. All I got to do is say I want to know. Mm -hmm. So last night when I said. I wish it was me that ran that website. Mm -hmm. My phone started getting lit with everybody that knows firsthand who, does. who runs the website. I already suspected who I thought was behind it, and now I know 100% who's behind it. Um, and I was I, I just went to Alex's page this morning, and I went on that video, and Did I said, fart? no, that was my chair. I would yeah. I'd take ownership of mine. <laughs> Man, I would love for some good farts right now. <laughs> but, yeah, I, uh, I went to his page. I went to that video this morning just to let it be known. Hey, you guys, I know who runs that well, page. Well, Candy, you keep on. You got Shara right there. You're going to get a diamond before it's over with. That's right. If Candy morning, would just Judy. try it. You got about another two months before you yeah. get diamond if you're you're just a share because it took me about six months from when i got a share to well she probably would have had it if she would have got deleted that one time oh. same thing with alvin yeah hey didn't alvin chime in earlier and yes, we yes. did did we yes, read did. it yeah i read some of what he said because i said we need to call him but you didn't have his number yeah i don't have his number hold he, on let me see he did say in there that this morning his work called and said they're working 20 hours two days a week or something like that so he's not completely laid off he said oh, some okay. hours is better than none right i do have his number let's just all right see. let's call him we're gonna we're gonna end on on a good note with alvin mm -hmm. tell mrs freaking frat Hello? Uh, this is Easy Rental. We need to get with you about coming to repo in your washer and dryer. Well, you come take that dead gum thing. It don't work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you... Oh, sitting here watching my wife play CFDs. All right. <laughs> we, uh, we were just talking, and I said, man, Alvin chimed in, and I didn't really cover it, so I figured we'd call real quick. So what's, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh, facing lockdown. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, Holly over uh, here was just I, talking I, about your work. Yep, yep. They, uh, last Wednesday, or Thursday, we showed up to work. They gave us all paperwork, laying us off. Mm -hmm. Um, so, of course, you know, they're like, well, you can finish your night, or you can leave now. Well, I'm like, well, you know, I'm finishing my night. I'll yeah, take my 12 hours. That's right. Let me get the rest of this cash. You know, and went all weekend and uh, worried, upset. Not really, because I ain't never had to file no unemployment or anything like mm -hmm. that. Get a phone call this morning around 7.45. Uh, we're going to run two shifts, two 10-hour shifts, straight 10s. If you want to come to work, you can come to work. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm like, well, yeah, hell yeah, I come to work. Mm-hmm. 20 hours a week is better than no hours. That's right. on unemployment. See, well, I, I was going to say, you, I was, keep your chin up, Alvin. So that was going to be my question. Does the 20 hours, is that more money than unemployment? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what my wife told me after I came in here and got coffee. She's mm -hmm. like, well, you know why they did that? That way they don't have to pay you unemployment. Yeah. Yeah. Because the difference will offset it. Yeah. And that was but, the company over the weekend did the math, and they're like, well, we better give these guys a little bit of hours. Right. But the, the other catch, too, is a lot of people don't realize this. When your ass goes and gets unemployed, on unemployment, you have to pay taxes on that money. Mm -hmm. So you really make a whole lot less than you think you're making. A lot of people go, well, unemployment, you know, I make this amount. Yeah, but you're going to get taxed heavily yeah. on that money. Oh, yeah. yeah. So and you got to turn around and claim it on your following year's tax. That's yes, exactly do. right. That's right. It just sucks. And I'm thankful for the hours that I'm getting finally. Because there for about three months, I was Thank only you, getting Google. 12 hours a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely thankful for all the hours I'm getting. Yep.
So I appreciate all the prayers I got from the Just for Fun family over yes, the sir. weekend because mm-hmm. it worked. I'm sorry, I I I failed, but Holly made up for it because she prays for everybody. Yep. She is our prayer our prayer leader yes, for is. Just yes. for Fun Radio. I go sit out there. I got this one tree and that Dondra's I just look been, at. And been I do praying my thing. for you too, Alvin. Mm-hmm. My Dondra and my Wansley. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I've been praying for you. I was praying for you too. Well, I'm glad everything's worked out for you, man. Well, I appreciate it, guys. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this puppy up. We just had to the end goo- by calling you. The guru said, shut up, Alvin. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's cousin love. Right, from when, when people tell you shut up, they love you. Because if they didn't care about you, they wouldn't even say your name. That's right. That's, right. that's the way right we are on. here at Just for Fun. If we didn't want you, we don't want anything to do with you. We won't even say your name out yep. loud. We so. love Alvin. That's right. Well, we appreciate you, brother. I love yeah, my Just for Fun. All right, man. All we'll right, see you guys. later. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. bye bye. All right, you guys, we're going to roll up out here. Everybody have a great day, great day, great, great, great day. Yes. Try to make the best of what you got. I think that's the one thing we should learn with all this. That's right. Mm-hmm. Be happy with what you got. Because it could always positive. be worse. Be happy. Mm-hmm. Laugh. That's right. Hey, I was stuck in the house all weekend with the Tasmanian devil. But we made it. That was some fun times. <laughs> <laughs> I got jokes, but I'm just going to leave it right there. I, I do, too. That's why I'm just right there. All right. We'll see you on the flip side. Bye. 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 I love y'all a long time.